What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Trevor, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went straight to the Shoal Cave on a low tide because, well, we kind of wanted to put another Pokemon on rotation just to see how it'll work in my team. And, uh, well, like I said early on, I am also playing Pokemon Omega Ruby uh, just to keep up with this game. Um, I actually surpassed whatever progress we've had right here and I managed to trade a Pokemon to this game with a special item in order for us to get to where we need to be with the Pokemon that we captured last episode and that is yes we got ourselves a Dawn Stone I just realized this that we we won't be able to get this stone until like later on and well I don't want to wait I'm gonna use it let's go right ahead and use it on frost as you guys already know in generation 4 uh, Snow Runt got an extra evolution if it was a female. Now, if you give it a if you give it a Dawnstone, it's going to evolve into a Frostlass. If you have it grow at level 40, whether it's a male or female, it's going to go into a Glalie. And yeah, buddy, this is a this is a Pokemon that I've always wanted to use. I've heard good things. I've, well, I've heard mi a mix of, of good and bad things and all that stuff, but I do want to put it in rotation just to see what it would do right here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Frostlass. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, once it evolves, it gains the Ghost type capability. It does have the Snow Cloak, uh, the Snow Cloak ability, which boosts its evasion during a hailstorm. And, uh, well, as you guys can see, it is more of a special attacker than anything, so that's pretty good because its nature really doesn't, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't help it out just a little bit. It's a modest nature. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give it a move here and there just so it can, uh, just so it can fend for itself and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's see, let's go ahead and, and by number. So. We got to give it hail just because, well, shoot, you know, evasion. Who doesn't like evasion? And this one will replace protect, of course. And I guess we're going to have to take out most of its uh, physical attacks just for, you know, special attacks right here. And, well, let's see. Dazzling Gleam or Dazzling Gleam. Let's see. Trick Room. Frost Breath is a, is a very good move that I can teach it right here. And it is a special move, so it's gonna it's gonna cooperate with Frostlass right here, or we named it Frost. And we better give it to, or we better take away the Ice Fang right here. Look at that, good old Draven being strategic and all that stuff. Holy god! Okay, so let's see. There's a Shadow Claw that won't work, but we did get ourselves another move, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see if we can actually, if we could just find it. There's Double Team, and yes, we can give it Shadow Ball. Another move with Saint uh, with stat ability right here. So let's go right ahead and give that to. Let's go right ahead and take away Bite. And I'm thinking that you know, since it's a, it's about evasion, let's go ahead and give it double team. And with double team plus hail, that's a good combination of moves. We could take out Headbutt, and bam, there it is. Frost is ready to go, ready to kick some butt and take some names right here. Okay, so let us continue our adventure right here. As you guys already know, yeah, we went side questing, and we went in to grab ourselves another Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and ride on our Lanoon, and, well, let's see. Wow, that's, that's, that's a lot of thunder right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get a repel here or there. All right, here we go. Max repel. And it looks like we're still using a repel. So let's go right ahead and find Sutopolis City. Along the way, we're probably going to be battling a, a trainer here and there. Because remember, we did skip out on a few trainers just to get to the cave. And, well, it looks like we need another repel. And there is a person right there. So what a better way than to test our might right here. So, let's go right ahead and do some stuff against Bird Keeper Byron, and he does have two Pokemon, and as you guys can see, oh, it is stormy, it is scary, oh my god, Tommy JDF has no chance whatsoever right here, 
This is very, very scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to be skipping it out. And we're going to be going straight to Frost right here. And, well, look at this. Frost getting hit by Pluck. And that right there is going to be a bad one. So let's go right ahead and go with Hail. And, oh, my God. Ha! Wow. First two hits. Then we faint. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Ah, uh, man. This is what happens when you get, a, get yourself a new Pokemon. A Dodrio ends up ruining it for you. So let's go right ahead and revive this Pokemon just so I can get some experience points. So let's see. A revive will actually work. So, yeah. Wow. Look at that experiment right there. Everybody's laughing right now. Go ahead and laugh. And, well, here comes an acupuncture technique. And its evasiveness has gone up a lot. So it's, use, it's basically doing what we should have done. And, uh, well, Frost yet again. And there we go, Dodrio going with Agility. So this Pokemon right here is just maximizing its stats. Little does it know that it's in my playing field. So let's go right ahead and go with the Dive. And here comes another Acupuncture. Holy buckets, this Pokemon right here is just like... Yeah, it, it, it's it's maximizing its, uh, its stats right here. So go ahead, try and attack me. Try attack, does not work. And here we go for the win. Critical hit. That's right. That's how to, that, that, that right there is pretty awesome. Leviathan and everybody else get some points. And, uh, well, here comes a Zatu. So let's see if this actually works out. Because, well, yes, we do have a Shadow or we do have a Ghost type Pokemon. Okay. So let's go right ahead and use a Shadow Ball. And Jesus criminy. Well, it looks like for us that we need to we need to train our Pokemon just a little bit. Come on, come on, damn it! Okay, so yeah, we're not we're not having some luck right here. So here comes a wish. If you can wish upon a star, something will happen. And this Pokemon is not liking me so mar so far. So here comes Shadow Ball, and that right there hits Zatu. Now we do have to worry about that wish because well yeah it's going to it's going to be a big factor and wow Oh my god here comes another shadow ball and its first victory Okay Not bad And just like that we get some more points Leviathan grows to level 49 and Byron has been defeated Oh yes Okay, so yeah, we're gonna be keep we're gonna keep on doing this. We're just gonna be battling some trainers, see where it gets us and all that stuff. Yes, I'm trying to prolong this just a tad bit, just so we can uh, have a few more episodes to go right here in Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire. So let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and move on right here. So as you guys can see, we are now in Route 126, and we are close to Sutopolis. And as well, yeah, look at that white white rocks usually mean Sutopolis City and like I said I'm going to be battling everybody right here just so we can get some more experience points and Well here comes triathlete triathlete Denzel not Washington and well I Didn't really learn my lesson. I Didn't yeah, I did not learn my lesson so Tommy JDF will will suffer right here, but I think yeah, Brave Bird can actually work right here. So here we go. Go for the Brave Bird, and this one will defeat the Zumeril. Okay, alrighty. And yes, we're gonna be taking a few hits right there. So let's go right ahead and see what else we got. Denzel defeated. Okay, alrighty. So let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon because yes, we we, we really need to do that. And uh, let's go ahead and get Frost in the, in the front. That way we can actually get it some love. And uh, again, there are extra Pokemon right here that you can actually capture. Um, hell, you can even go right there if you wanted to. But what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to find everybody I can and battle this guy right here. Now, there are people underwater where you can actually battle too. I don't know how that works out, but... Actually, I don't know how that works out for Pokemon that... Yeah, that like, uh, that are not underwater Pokemon and all that stuff. And, well, here we are digging on a Gyarados. What a better test than to do this. And let's go right ahead and go with a, wow, the internet has turned off, so no biggie. And, unfortunately, we can't use Hail right here because this 
Yeah, this... Yeah, th th this, this thing right here, this rainstorm is too powerful. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using evasion to its maximum. And an aqua tail will actually work right there. Won't work, I should say. So let's go straight for a front or a shadow ball right here. And that doesn't do anything to this Pokemon. So let's go with a frost breath. Now, what I don't get is how is this Pokemon a flying type Pokemon if it doesn't fly? But the other part too, how is it not super effective if it's a flying type Pokemon? Maybe the water capabilities cover that. I don't know, but. Look at that. Rain Dance. It's trying to use, it, Why are you trying to use Rain Dance when it's raining? Oh my god, these people these days. And well, as you guys can see, Gyarados defeated. Okay, Frostlass. Growing to level four, 35. Everything's working. Okay. And uh, well, Toxic Batman grows to level 39. And Tommy JDF becomes the first one at level 60. And Lanoon grows to level 40 without even doing a single bit of freaking movement that's hilarious that is hilarious okay so let's go right ahead and find ourselves some more trainers we're picking fights guys we are literally picking fights against trainers right here in a rainstorm we're prolonging everything so yes we're taking on this lady and she's calling us a kiddo oh my god when was the last time i got called a kiddo but yeah here comes brenda and she will be coming out with a ludicolo all right, Frost. Let's do it. And as always, we are faster than everybody else. So let's go right ahead and not... Wow, how is... Oh, okay. So its ability is probably the, the reason why it's faster than us. So here we go. We're increasing our evasiveness. And now, I kind of want to say that Frost Breath will actually do it, but it's still a water-type Pokemon. Don't know why it's, me it's uh, messing with our physical attack right there. So here we go. And not super effective, but it is a critical hit. So let's go straight for a Shadow Ball right here. And... And there we go. Shadow Ball for... Oh, no. We, we need to buff up this Pokemon stats. And oh, my God. So it has Astonished. That right there is going to mess with us just a little bit. So here we go. And, well, let's go right ahead. And, oh my god, we got flinched. Okay, so here we go, another Shadow Ball. And Nature Power is, uh, yeah, thankfully we didn't get hit with a Hydro Pump right there. So, there we go, Ludicolo has been defeated. And, well, that gives us a little bit more experience points. Gaia, growing healthy. And, there we go, we have defeated this lady. And it looks like I got another text message, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. We are back, and, uh, well, let's see. There are more Pokemon trying to attack us right here, but, like, I'm literally trying to find for trainers to battle and all that crud, and here's another one right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use up all the potions that we got because, well, we don't really need regular potions no more. And let's go right ahead and test out another Pokemon trainer right here. Look at this. Apparently, in the Hoenn region, a legend has been passed down that it's the birthplace of Mega Evolution. You know, that would be a good thing to have again, you know, I'm just saying, and well, would you look at that, we are taking on a Crobat, and more than likely this Crobat is a lot faster than us because it's at level 41, holy crud baskets, okay, so yeah, we gotta hit it quickly, and here comes an acrobatics attack, that is going to mess with us, and that is super effective in a critical hit, but... Either way we look at it, it is not looking good for Frost. So let's go right ahead and switch out. Frost, you have done good. You have done good. Here comes Leviathan in his own atmosphere. And, uh, well, here comes another acrobatics attack. It's kind of like a ninja attack. This Pokemon is just going to be kicking our butts and, you know, whatever. So let's go straight for a Dragon Pulse. And uh, I don't know why you're trying to do a mean look. We're not trying to escape. We want the smoke. We want it. And there you go. Crobat has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Frost grows to level 36. And, well, it looks like to us we are kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. So, let's see. Is there another Pokemon trainer we can actually fight before, you know, doing what we needed to do? 
Uh, we could go there if we wanted to. Huh, we could. Uh, let's see, we're going around in circles right here. That's why this name, or the, the title of this name, or the title of this, this episode is going around in circles. You know what, might as well just dive, since we do have a Pokemon that knows it. And let's go right ahead and do that with Leviathan right here. And, well, as you guys can see, we do, we can actually capture Pokemon. The only thing is we can't cross these areas right here because, well, I don't know why. And if you see the light, go ahead and press the A button and you will be right back up to the surface. And, uh, well, let's see. Right here, you will be finding yourself a secret island. And as you guys can see... <laughs> It looks like somebody already claimed this place in the name of whoever the person is. So let's go ahead and take a look. As you guys can see, this is Mateo's base. And we're going to take another flag. Obviously, we haven't been so active with this. And, well, him being himself, I don't know what kind of Pokemon he has. So he's giving us an Azur Azuril doll. And, well, he wants to battle us. And this guy is going to be going with single battles. So let's see what kind of... Uh, Let's see what kind of a uh, torturous Pokemon it has. So here is Mateo coming out with Crobat. He's got two of these Pokemon right here. And this Pokemon is up to level 45. I did not heal my Pokemon, so that's a big bat on me. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Gaia the Fierce Knight. And, well, Gaia, how's it going? And here comes a Steel Wing. This will obviously hurt my Pokemon because it is weak against Steel-type Pokemon. All right, let's go. Psychic attack. And here comes a cross chop. Oh, my God. We're getting our butts kicked by one Pokemon right here, Crobat. And just like that, Crobat defeated. Okay, all righty. And, uh, well, let's see. More points. Leviathan grows to level 50. And, well, here comes Gyarados. Obviously, this Pokemon is going to be a mega evolutionary Pokemon. So we're just going to... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, uh, rely on Gaia's attack right here. Let's go with a Dazzling Gleam. And, well, it looks like this is not a Mega Evolutionary Pokemon, so we're gonna get hit. And there goes Gaia the Fierce Knight. Okay. Hmm. Let's go with Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman, as you already know, is one of my favorite Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and poison this Pokemon right here. So here comes Poison Fang. And it doesn't poison this Pokemon. Oh, crap. Okay, so we have got to defeat this Pokemon quickly now because, holy crud, it is going to, it's going to eat us. So here we go. Confuse Ray. Alrighty, alrighty. And it is confused. Come on, hurt yourself, homeboy. There we go. And we got one more chance just to defeat this guy right here. So here we go. Poison Fang. And oh my god. Here comes another Dragon Dance. So yeah. When an overgrown shrimp is doing that, we must hit it. And come on, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Yes. Whew, we got lucky right there. We really did. Okay, so that is that. Toxic Batman grows to level 40, and it wants to learn Haze. Yes, this is not a move that we need right now. Eventually, we will teach, reteach some moves right here. And, well, Frost grows to level 37, and it wants to learn Wake Up Slap. Do not need to do that right now because, well, shoot, there's no Pokemon in our team that's asleep. So, there we go. That is that. And, uh, well, we don't need anything else. Huh. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. I just wanted to test out a uh, Pokemon, and it's looking like it's it's looking like I like I like it a lot. So what's going to happen right here, guys? I know you guys are probably going to hate me for this, but I'm going to prolong this whole thing with the Sutopolis City Gym. I'm going to save it for maybe Thursday or Friday's episode. So we're going to be going down, and we're going to be going to Pacific Log Town, and uh, hopefully everything goes well from there. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.